Hello and welcome to Modern Toy Fair News, the weekly show that talks about toys. I first want to address, Jamar is unfortunately no longer with us. Some old tweets popped up and we had to unfortunately send him on his way. So I am joined this week by my substitute co-host, one of the hosts of the Figuratively Speaking podcast, Nate. How are you this week, Nate? I'm doing great. I had to do a quick uh, run through of all my social media and delete all that stuff that I said about cats and it, it was a mess, but I'm happy to be on now. We can move ahead and we can just not remember Jamar at all. I know it's it's going to be real hard because there's only like uh, 50 episodes that he's in. So, right. Uh, the good news is I look enough like him, I think. Oh, that yeah, we could probably pass it off. You're, you're literally just like his brother at this point. Yeah, like I'm literally his inverse is what it would be. <laughs> just in Photoshop, just click the invert button and voila, mm-hmm, you've got, mm-hmm. you've there got I am. the alternative. <laughs> uh, just just so that way, I, as much as I'd love to keep the joke going until he comes back next week, he is he did not have any racist or sexist tweets. It was it's just literally me giving him shit because he decided he didn't want to show up for the first show of the year. Um, he'll argue otherwise, but that's not the point. If you are new to the show, the way it's going to work is we're going to break down the weekly news. This is going to be since it's the first show of the year, it's going to be a little different. We're going to have some of the news that actually happened this week, plus some of the things since we took our break back in mid December. Um, just because there was some stuff that I, there's no way we could pass up talk, talking about. Um, and then we're going to do our weekly purchases. And as always, when Nate's on the show, he'll completely annihilate that segment and make me and Jamar feel bad about ourselves. And then we'll send you on your way. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. But we're going to start. And this is off. a very special week, too. <laughs> uh, it, it looked like it from the picture you sent me. So I'm excited yeah. to hear the story behind it. Uh, we are going to start the first week of 2021 off the way we start most weeks, though, with McFarlane. Not as much news as normal, though. Uh, the only thing really that came through that was, like, new were, first, we got a Todd stream, as always, because, you know, he, he, it, it's, it's, he and, and Trump, man, Trump loves Twitter, he loves his Instagram live. Like, they're both yeah. just on it nonstop. And certainly don't want to get too much into it, but I like what Todd says so much. <laughs> well, I mean, in his defense, it's toy related. So, yeah, we'll, yep. we'll, we'll say that's the reason why. Um, yep. <laughs> but he showed off an actual inbox ver- uh the regular release red edition of the seven inch Mandarin spawn figure, which we'd seen like glamour shots of but there hasn't really been like official release photos like there were for the blue gold label version. And this one, like, he didn't mention, like, he mentioned a bunch of other things that are going to be hitting shelves, like a lot of the gold label figures with the Todd version of Batman and the blue version of the Mandarin Spawn and a few other things hitting shelves in the next couple weeks at Walmarts. Didn't say when this is going to be coming out or give us any updates on it. But that's not all that came from McFarlane. Uh, They had some more leaks, uh, as they do. And as always, it, it came from across the pond. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe I should learn my geography. I don't know if Philippines is across the pond. Either way. Well, um, <laughs> it's across several ponds if you want to get to it. Um, either way, they leaked a list of new figures via a retail order form. And it included new Snyder Cut Justice League figures of Aquaman, Batman, Batman with Bruce Wayne head, Cyborg, Cyborg with helmet, Flash, Superman Red Blue, and then Superman's listed, which I assume means Black Silver, since that was the big thing about the Snyder Cut, is like, we we get that version of Superman, and mega figures of Darkseid and Steppenwolf. Uh, the form claims these are got an ETA of May to June, so which would make sense, because that's around when mm-hmm. the Snyder Cut's going to be airing on HBO, but... I, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, part of me is excited because the Wonder Woman figure for Wonder Woman 84 looks incredible. Like, they yes. did a fantastic job. Like, that's one of the few figures where I'm, like, not nitpicky about it. But I, at the same time, disappointed. I wish it was Batman v Superman Batman because I, I hated that the Justice League Batman had those weird square pouches everywhere on his suit. Like Yeah. Like, he was just like, I just want tiny spots of bulletproofness in my suit. I, I, what I think is cool – well, one, I think – it's awesome, and mm-hmm. I'll actually get a set of McFarlane figures. So far, I have two Wonder Womans and a Harley Quinn. That's all I have from McFarlane's DC line so far. But I will get 
most of probably these for Justice League. When I had first kind of thought about it, it kind of hit me at point, one point last year. I was like, oh, man, McFarlane can make Justice League figures. Because I was looking at my Mattel ones, mm-hmm. trying to decide if I wanted to keep them or not. And I was like, yeah, hey, I really don't really want these. But I'm like, oh, McFarlane's going to make some. Mm-hmm. And to hear that they finally are is great. On one hand, I'm like, oh, no Wonder Woman. But it also makes sense that they just brought out one. Yeah. And you can still get it on the shelf. And it's even though it's not the same look probably it's, as the movie it's, it's the it's same close. it's just a different it's color so is the only difference is because yeah. in the snyder yep. version it's very a lot darker but that's more just yep. filters where yep. everything's brighter in the one Woman movie so it's still the same costume like they, they she didn't change her costume um patty has actually gone on record saying she intentionally didn't want to change the costume because she didn't want to interfere with the things that happen in the current timeline with, with zach's yeah stuff. yeah so that's it, that's awesome and um it's it's you, you were saying that you were kind of disappointed in what were you saying you were disappointed in? I, I so I love oh the Batman ba- Ben Affleck's Batman, but I yeah. hated the version of the like they added those squares to his suit. Like was it so it magnetizes to his armor when he puts it on for the final battle? Like it just yeah. it just looks weird. I, I mean maybe it'll look more natural on this figure, but like the, you have the Mattel one and the Mattel one looks like shit with those squares on it. Oh hell yeah! So so I'm like um, if it looks good enough, I'll get it either be... way. Yeah, I think with a reasonable, um, you know, change as far as on the mold, I think they could do a, a Batman v Superman then. And I could definitely see that being like a store exclusive, mm-hmm. like a Walgreens exclusive or something like that with a minimal change, doing like a BVS two pack or something like that. Or even maybe a three pack and, and putting a, oh, yeah, a dark Woman. color Wonder Woman in there, which would be really cool. But this is very exciting because I don't know if I've mentioned it on this show. I still have not seen Justice League, um, the the one that came out because – the only thing people could tell the, the best review I could find was it was okay. Yeah. And I don't, I don't want to see a justice league movie. That's okay. So I'm very excited about this. I, I, I've liked what Snyder has tried to do. I didn't love man. Of Steel. Uh, I really, uh-oh. the interest in Did you lose something. Oh, you, 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 you like freaked out. You're like, I didn't want to see, uh, 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 and like you disappeared for a second, but then you, came Oh, back. <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> I, what I was saying was I, I just – I didn't want to see a Justice League movie that was just okay. Mm-hmm. Like that's that's not what a Justice League movie should be. Oh, 100%, and yeah. so, yeah, and I'm really excited about this Snyder cut. I, I've been – I like Zack Snyder. I thought I thought the longer version of Batman v Superman was, was really good. I mm-hmm. thought the, the theatrical cut was really iffy. And I, I have issues with Man of Steel, mostly just in that I'm – I'm an older school Superman fan. I mean, my knowledge of Superman doesn't really come from the comics is it comes from uh, movies mm-hmm. and the animated series and especially those Christopher Reeve movies because those were always on TV when I was a kid. Um, you know, Jonathan Kent being the way he was in that movie just really rubbed me the wrong way. Like that was not and I know this was a new interpretation. Yeah. That was that was my fault. I can acknowledge that that my expectations can put a damper on things and that's on me. So I'm not saying it's a bad movie in any way, shape, or form. It just wasn't necessarily for me. Yeah. Um, but I am excited about the idea of this Snyder Cut actually getting to pay off things that were set up in, in Batman v Superman. And I think, what is it going to be? Like four hours, four and a half hours or something like that? Once it's longer than that. You put all the parts together. It's like six episodes and it's like 40 minute episodes or something. So it's going to be... It's going to be probably about like four and a half to five hours at that point. Yeah, so substantially a, a, a much bigger thing than we would have gotten even if if everything had gone originally as planned mm-hmm. so well, then i think the the big thing grant this has nothing to do with toys but i don't care yeah. uh the big thing is since they've kind of already said that they don't know if they're going to continue this universe right um or at least not in the to the extent that it currently is in um and there's a good chance flashpoint's going to change a lot I think mm-hmm. this is Zach trying to fit his like storyboard for three movies since he yes. already, he explained like his entire plan for like the 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 build up the the nightmare verse and then the big fight at the end with Dark Side and like I have a feeling that's going to be kind of trimmed down to fit in that like five hour span of, mm-hmm. of episodes which I, it's, it's possible if they do it right it is a lot to pack in there. But I, I feel like there was a lot of stuff in the normal um, Whedon version version of uh, uh, Justice League that you could get rid of that you just don't need. Um, yeah. Especially now that it's not like you have to reintroduce these characters. People right. know who they are, especially like Aquaman and Wonder Woman, because 
Aquaman already had his own movie. Flat yeah, those movies were big hits. Yeah, so it's like it's not like you have to go through and do origins for all of them. So you kind of have to explain right. Cyborg a little better because they didn't do a good job of that. Um, and then you, you could do a little bit with Flash, but at this point with CW, people know who Flash is as well. Mm-hmm. So you don't yep. need to get like super familiar with that. Um, so I'm curious to see where they go with it. I, but yeah, I, the, the figures alone, I'm excited for. Uh, yep. I, I, I will em. say, I hope that if they're doing this version of Aquaman, that we get the Aquaman movie version with the orange and green because that that suit like never in my life would i think oh weird old school aquaman costume would look badass in a movie but damn did they make it, it look does. badass i mean you put anything on jason momoa and it's probably gonna look pretty cool true um so they probably did the right thing but yeah you're absolutely right i mean seeing that dumb costume on him and i was like yeah like yeah yeah i was i was all for it like i'm like who would have thought bright ass orange and green costume would have worked so well Um, like i wasn't a huge fan of of snyder's version of the costume it was all like dingy Mm -hmm. and and armored but i was like i i was like i don't even know how they could do a happy medium he almost has to be like more like the justice league cartoon where he's like topless and just has the green pants like that's what i figured they'd have to go for but no they they found a way and it worked so i'd love yeah i'm real excited for these and i It'll be cool. Once once I watch this, which I, I hope I watch it, I still haven't watched Wonder Woman, even though I can. Um, kind of the same thing. No one's really selling me on it. But uh, it, I will go and watch the Joss Whedon version afterwards, just as a comparison. But I mm-hmm. want to see this one first. You know, I want this to be my, my first exposure to that. Yeah, I, 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 if, if I had the ability to go back in time and, and change that, I would make the, the Snyder Cut my first watching of Justice League, because... That movie, you could just, it was almost like the fact, you know, how like the new Star Wars trilogy, you can tell two directors had their hands yeah. in it. That's how that movie yep. felt. And it was in one movie, yep. not in a trilogy. So like, yeah, that's it even worse. Even more. Yeah, it's, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm a fan of those movies and I still, I will, I will admit to almost all faults people say, I'm like, yeah, yep. Yep. Those are yeah. really flawed. I like them. I enjoy them for what they are, but you know, yeah, yeah. they're not perfect. So uh, but yeah, so we're going to enough movie talk. I guess we'll move on yeah, to Nate our next story. Yeah, Nate and Mike's story. movie talk. We'll <laughs> that's that that's a separate later. YouTube channel. And Jamar for, uh... only gets to be on that one once a month. <laughs> Until he has bad tweets uh, resurface about how much he loved yeah. the, the Joss Whedon Justice League movie. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> but... I hope my tweets about Dragon Ball Evolution never come out. Oh, Man, that's a that's a that's a that's a, that's a strong take there, but we're not going to yeah. touch that. Oh yeah. man, um, it is what it is. Uh, anyway, so Jazzware had their Fortnite Legendary Edition figures start just randomly showing up at Target, including the character Eight Ball, Meowsles, Skull Trooper, the Scientist, and the Brat. And I, I mean, they're they're stacked. You get more accessories of them than you do the normal figures. Yeah. So they're thirty dollars instead of twenty. But the fact that these weren't really announced. They were. I, I think I remember hearing like like talks of a legendary series, but they never really said what was going to be in it. And it's just yep. like they're on Target shelves. Surprise! And I, I yep. most of these characters. I, I, at one point, I played Fortnite, and I have no idea who half these characters are. But Meow Souls, just I don't know what it is, but something about a cat head on a weird muscular body. I'm like, I yeah. kind of almost feel like I need that. <laughs> I saw this at Target. I thought it was awesome. Like I looked at this. I, I probably looked at him for a good, like no exaggeration, like three minutes just look at it i'm like this is weird and it was so cool and then like i also saw the um this was on the smaller uh scale ones oh the three they, and quarters uh, type ones yep uh but it was at target and it was a agent peely two pack oh yeah with so those it was suits. two peelys in in tuxedos with a lot library like you said I'm like this is the most bizarre thing i've ever seen and I was like, I'm all for it. I'm not going to buy it, but I, I thought it was awesome. You mean you did another moment in your living room where your wife's just like, what was, what are you doing with your life? Yeah. Especially with what you, what I have later as a story. Yeah. I'm not going to question that ever that's, <laughs> for, for anybody who's watching. That's the one thing my wife has ever given me shit for buying was a few figures. And she was absolutely correct, but I do love admiring them on store shelves. I, I think they're so much fun. Oh, yeah. And you know, and obviously, I don't really pay attention to the line, but just like what you're saying, most of the time, Jazzwares just puts them out. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. nobody knows they're coming. And that reminds me of when I was looking for toys, and all of a sudden, there would just be stuff out when I was a kid, because mm-hmm. I didn't I didn't know. 
yeah, it, it's, it's kind of cool. I, it makes me wonder, like, is this intentional? Is this just something where it's, like, legalities? Because I know, like, Epic Games is very much so, like, involved in it. And I know with McFarlane, mm-hmm. that was a big thing, is they weren't allowed to show off or announce figures officially at yeah. cons and stuff like they'd have them there and you could see them but you couldn't photograph them you couldn't right take video of them you could you you could you could kind of be allowed to say well they said some things are coming and they showed us some things are coming that are cool but that's about it like yeah that that's one thing that i know like i've noticed over the past few years since they've started doing these fortnite figures is a lot of the reviewers and and, and people on like influencers in the toy world who go to comic-con who go to toy fair and get the press badge and get to go to previews night and all that they get to see these things but they aren't allowed to talk about them or describe them or take pictures so it makes me wonder if epic games is just real hush hush about everything or if it's if it's just like uh oh no we just enjoy the you know the surprise we enjoy being the the talk of the town essentially because it's like suddenly like yeah. oh shit we didn't know this was here versus oh this is coming out in a week and then it's like oh it's here cool um, yeah and I, and I do wonder like how the difference is you know how it results to sales or if it makes a difference because you know with marvel legends and star wars black we sometimes know those figures are coming out almost a year ahead of time mm-hmm. you know we've seen those those prototypes you know all you know months and months and months so by the time we actually get it in hand we're like oh okay yeah, yeah. cool and it's not as fun. So I'd be curious to know if that works for him. Obviously, I it's mean, doing well it, enough. I'd say it works enough for him that I rarely see a lot of the more popular ones on the shelf. Like I, when True. I go to like Walmart Target, they might have one or two on the shelf at most. Like it's not like they're yep. like stacked to the to the brim with them. But that could also just be the shitty distribution problems of retail there, in, there's in that post-Toys too, Rest world. Yeah, you kind of go to a Walmart and you can tell which lines sell and which ones don't because mm. the, most figures are pretty bare. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so uh, all these characters are really cool. The Skull Trooper, yep. I know they've done him a few times. Um, one was like Low in the Dark and it was exclusive to Walgreens. Yes. Uh, he comes up with some new accessories, looks like. The Scientist, uh, that one I do know. I, I know Skull Trooper too because I was around when I played. But the Scientist one I remember because I was just like, cool, it's just a giant like murder robot because like his like backpack thing was literally the severed heads of other characters oh like the the burger boss the weird pink like cosplay bear uh, mr tomato head or whatever his head it or his name oh, is yeah like their heads were in like a netted sack on his back and i'm like that's fucking badass like yeah all right so and this is the number one game for kids under 10 yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> Got to sensitize them for for when we eventually have to start the apocalypse and start deheading people and keeping them as trophies to show, hey, you don't want to fuck with me. Yeah, that's true. (laughs) Oh, man. So going from Jazzwares to more grim stories uh, than somehow of decapitating mascots at Fortnite, Hasbro started the year off right. Day one requiring Target employees to collect the tears of their diehard G.I. Joe fans. Oh, who waited outside to get Cobra Island, G.I. Joe exclusive, Cobra Viper, and Firefly. Stores were expected to get six of each, but reports poured out pretty much all over the country of stores either having figures missing from the case. Oh, well, it's got some spoilers there, apparently. This is my next question. Um, and even, like, a couple stores reported that they opened up the case, and it was Monopoly inside. So now there's oh, conspiracy boy. theories that at the factory or not the factories, the distribution centers for target that their employees are now taking these figures because they're worth money and sticking other things in them. And I'm just like, Oh my God, I don't know if, if do, is there, do we need to start like a QAnon on toy channel? Like, Oh my God. Yeah. I, the, <laughs> the, the, the conspiracy theories, especially around target are insane and I'm about to add to it. And I don't even believe them. Um, so I went, out that morning uh mm-hmm. that was that was january 1st so yes. it was saturday um, a bunch of hungover toy collectors yeah so um my figuratively speaking co-host Corey, uh had messaged me a few days before he's like hey it's gonna be gi joe apocalypse part two we need to all go out to a different store and i'm like all right i'm down now I already have the Firefly on order. I actually lucked out and was able to order it online. I still, to this day, do not understand how I did it. I was actually in the Kohl's parking lot 
when all the stuff went up for pre-order and I went, oh, I should check Target to see if I could get one of those. Ha ha ha. And I got a Firefly. So, and it arrived as you saw. That's more um, impressive that it arrived because Target's yeah. been notorious for canceling pre-orders after yep. they hit stores for six months. Yep. So I was like, well, I'll, go, I'll still go out because I want a Viper. I'm, I'm mm-hmm. not, as much as I love G.I. Joe, I'm not going to army build this line. I'm not much of an army builder anyway, unless it, like it's packaged that way. Expensive as hell or impossible to army build right, this line. Right, definitely. It's so far in this line. Um, although I seem to be army building different Cobra Commanders because I have three. But uh, so I went out that morning and we were all supposed to go out to a different target. Uh, I texted Corey at like 751. I'm like, hey, which one are you at? I never heard anything. Um, I went to one with a buddy. You know, we came in. Of course, Target was clueless. They had, they had no idea what we were talking about. You looked it up. They didn't have them. No one in the region had them yet. Um, so, you know, I went home empty handed that day. Found out later, Corey didn't even go out. So. <laughs> Man, they really yeah. just don't want you to revive that show. Oh, uh, he's. Uh, but uh, so then I went out like I went out the next morning because it said they were in stock. Then I got up mm-hmm. on the website, said they were in stock. And I ran out there the next morning and the guy's like, well, we only got four. And I was like, already. I'm like, that's bullshit, because the guy told me the day before that they were getting six. Mm-hmm. And he's and, and that's how many come in a case. So I'm like, OK. Um, and then I could see on his handheld that they still had two in stock. Mm-hmm. So I, I personally don't think that the target employees, well, I don't think they're buying them themselves, but I, I do, I probably do buy into the fact that they're holding them for friends or people oh, they yeah. know for them to come in and pick them up. Cause there's, there's a store that's near us now that's still showing them in stock and they've been showing them in stock for days and they're not there. Yeah. I 100% so. agree with that. And, and and honestly, like, all the people are, like, boohooing over it. Yeah, it sucks you aren't getting your toy. Blame the manufacturer, not them. Because I'll tell you right now, after a decade of working retail, I don't have any sympathy for you. Because the way people treat retail employees, I'd say keep the entire fucking box back there and, and for all your friends. Like, I have no problem. Yeah. With it. Like, yeah, I, I try to be so nice to them i try to be understanding i try to really come across as not that typical one that gives us a bad name mm-hmm. like i don't i don't want to be that guy so I, and i also want them to know like i'm just wanting them for me yeah, yeah. i'm a 42 year old man who buys plastic people uh, <laughs> that's my cross to bear not not anyone else but i do try to be as nice about it as i can oh, and, yeah. and sometimes it works not always but uh i did find a a din jaren grogu two pack that morning for a friend oh, the nice. second day that i went out so yeah i you know those things were going for quite a bit i had one i actually had two because my wife stole the grogu out of the one um so i needed another one uh and then i picked one up for him so you know you win some you lose some the, the, the thing with the vipers is they're going they're already like oh, going yeah. for like 125 dollars on ebay um uh, this could be wishful thinking this could be my own conspiracy theory. Um, I would like to think that Hasbro learned a little bit, a little bit in the six months it's it's been since the last exclusive that they've upped production mm-hmm. a bit more on these, and then we're just seeing the first wave. But you know, who's ultimately who's to say? I was kind of hoping the last Cobra Island was going to see a bigger refresh than it did, and and I was wrong. So, oh yeah, like I would hope they learned their lesson because I mean, NECA's learned their lesson, and I feel like. Mm-hmm. The, the, the G.I. Joe community isn't probably as harsh as the NECA community was. I mean, I'm pretty sure Randy has left Twitter permanently mm. from the, the NECA community. And I um, and I don't blame him. I don't blame him either. Um, but yeah, like like you said, it's all about... I don't about... think, but I, if I was talked to like that, uh, I'm out. Yeah, I, like especially because that's not even his job. He just decided to take it upon mm-hmm. himself. Um, yeah. But but like you were saying, like yeah, it's all about like you gotta be nice to these people. Like they they're they're getting fucking paid shit to deal with a bunch of grown ass men who want to play with dolls. Like mm. uh, and and so so untitled and being oh, awful yeah. and it's just yeah, I'm not I'm not here for it. And right in the middle of a pandemic. Too. Oh yeah. So uh, on top of that, it, yeah, it sucks when they don't get them in. It sucks when you miss out, and it sucks when one guy comes in and buys them all to sell them on eBay. But it's not. You know, it's not their Jeff fault. Yeah. over in electronics' is fault. It's just because he's nearby toys. Yeah. I mean, it, it, the, the funny thing is, like, so if, if anyone's been watching this since day one um, during the basically the, the turtle pandemic of 2020, mm-hmm. um, 
I I pretty much have this weird relationship with the like electronics manager at my target because like of the awkwardness of going in and asking for them to check in the back for these these turtle toys in the middle of a pandemic and I'm just like yeah uh, and, and like I went through three employees before I finally found one who would listen to me and go and check because everyone was basically saying online like these don't show up in the inventory because they're uh, yeah. uh, from NECA they're not a like normal thing and they're there for the reps to put out and they have like spe- like these big ass boxes that have NECA tape on them like it's not that hard to do and I had two employees who pretty much just told me I was wrong and that if it's not in the system they don't have it and finally he was the first one to listen to me and he was nice as could be about it he went back found them the first try and then literally every time I've wanted like the turtle toys, I go when like a week after they start hitting everywhere else and he goes back and he finds them for me. It's, it's, that's awesome. It's, it's this weird, like symbiotic relationship at this point, but yeah. I mean, that's, that's how you should handle it. But unfortunately there's a lot of toy collectors who are just so entitled and so butthurt that they can't yep. get the toy they want that they take it on these people and it gives all of us a bad name. And that's it, why it's incredibly. And that's why I don't feel bad in situations where they're like holding it for their friends that they know want it. Yeah, it's, it's the situation sucks, but I get it too. Yeah, it's an easy a hundred dollar profit right now, and some people really need that. And uh, I, I'm not condoning it, but I also am like I get it. It's it's the it's the it's the toy scalper that I don't like. It's the kid from Target. It is what yeah. it is. I mean, don't get me wrong. It, it's shitty for people to go and buy things yeah. and sell them online, but at the same time. It's it's a it's a cycle. If if yep. if collectors would stop paying those prices, they'd stop selling. Supply and demand. Yep. Like so, you can't blame the scalper without blaming yourselves because mm-hmm. you're gonna you're gonna be so desperate to get that one toy that you're gonna pay that price. Yeah, and... I bought a Baroness off of, off eBay, and not even two weeks later, I I found one. I'm already store. telling you about that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ironically, Jamar's not here to tell the story, so I'll tell it for him. Um. I'm sure you remember us talking about how uh, last when we did the, the 2020 top 10 special that like I, I had opportunity. There were 16 s- splinters and Baxter Stocksman. I'm like, I'm not coming back before Christmas. If you want it, speak now or forever hold your right. peace. And then he didn't want it. And then he changed his mind two days later and they were all gone. Well, then he went to eBay. He found one. It ended up being like $10 more than what it cost for me to buy one and ship it to him. So it wasn't like a terrible markup. It was the normal NECA thing where like the prices plummet the second they – kind of start hitting all the stores um well then today i was at target and they got restocked so he he went and he paid all like the extra ten dollars and i sent him a picture i'm like are you ready to be super pissed (laughs) and Mm -hmm. because they had we had they had krang and they had splinter and baxter stock and and i'm like yeah i saw krang today too i I was i was shocked but at the same time i'm like well i mean we're going to talk about later but neca did say they're ramping up production and they're working better mm-hmm. to make sure everyone can get them to to kill that that third party market because they realize they don't need it it's not what drives these right. toys being sold yep. um speaking of neca that that's a perfect way to segue into our next story this one was uh, a few weeks ago but it was a great christmas present they showed off the boys figures of Homelander featuring his laser eye effect and Starlight with either some really great Photoshop or potentially like light up eyes. Uh, no dates yeah, or, that was interesting. or anything, but oh man, I, we talked about the, the Moffex one a few weeks ago on the show and I, I literally said, I need to see the NECA one before I, before I justify $80 because Moffex just doesn't do great, like real life faces. Right. And, and NECA's going to get my $30. Sorry, Moffat. Yes, your figures are amazing, but yep. this looks incredible. Like, they knocked yeah. it out of the park. Yeah. I Here, let me turn in my card, my nerd card, because I have yet to watch it. Um, I so think it's I'm, funny that you I, have I, something there that you could use as a nerd card. I know, right? <laughs> it's the waterproofing guy's card that was on my desk, <laughs> but, you know. Um, but I had it. Uh, yeah, but these figures look incredible. I love the texture that's used on Homelander, mm-hmm. uh, like for the suit. I think that looks incredible. So I really need to, to, to get off my ass and just watch it. Yeah. But that 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 is hands down one of the best shows for streaming if you like superheroes out there. Yeah, um, and they 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 killed it. I can't wait to see the other figures. I still stand that uh, in a perfect world, the only two I'll get are Homelander and uh, Billy Butcher. But if they all look as look as good as Starlight does, then I may may break down and get the rest yeah. of them too. 
but we'll we'll see. Um, I am curious though, because like even a few other people have pointed out, she borderline like her eyes are really either painted really well, photoshopped really yeah. well, or there's like a light up feature because they they do they don't look like it's just like her eyes literally have like bright yellow emitting from them. So yeah, I'm curious to that see would be very cool. That. They've done some interesting light up effects in like the um the pumpkins that they've done for halloween um and like the uh some of the uh fire effects that they've done so i would be really interested to see if they take that into a new level and, and embed the leds into the head so mm -hmm. i was i just wonder if that would drive up the price because i'd assume these would be around 25 30 bucks like their normal ultimate figures and i feel like a light um, feature might drive that up to like 35 or 40 I'm trying to think there was a Pennywise that came out mm -hmm. that had the deadlights in its head and it was a light up feature in the head. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to think, I don't, I don't know if that one was one of the ones that was raised as a higher price. Now I know that the predator led lights that they've done have been higher. Mm -hmm. So it could go either way. Yeah. So, I'm so sure. they have a precedent for it. So yeah, I bet yeah. you they'd keep this one. I bet you they'd find a way to keep this one within the, the the same price range to to not because like just like you said you're looking for homelander and billy the butcher yeah starlight may not fall under that must-have category so to kind of put that in there they may like not have as many accessories yeah that'd be my guess is they'd be like okay she's not going to get the like four sets of hands like they usually yeah. do or anything like that she might get i'd assume if anything those be like since she has the light up features she still has the soft goods cape but instead of giving multiple hands she's gonna have this one hand that's like translucent in yellow like plastic and maybe one alternative for that but the other hands is going to be kind of stay there um to your other hands an another person pointed out in the picture and i think it's funny her right hand in the picture looks like she put it in a garbage disposal <laughs> i yeah which, it did not look right which I'm, I'm sure it was pretty much it's just a prototype so they probably was like fuck it who cares just take a picture of it if people are really concerned about her fist with yeah. everything else going on then that's their problem yeah but it still is funny that yeah she looks like she has a mangled up hand and i'm just like oh man i i i hope that's just like a a spare hand they had lying around and not the <laughs> close to the final product uh, so moving on from NECA though, Storm Collectibles announced the new Justice or not Justice Injustice Gods Among Us Ares figure, which comes with three interchangeable heads, four interchangeable hands, a wired cape, a sword, and a big ass axe. He is priced at one hundred and five dollars on Big Bad Toy Store and is due to release in May of twenty twenty one. I these bigger villains that they pump out for this line like i i i don't mind the injustice like versions of the characters they're they're cool they're a little more beefed up and armored because it's a mortal Kombat style game right um but they fit in really well with just about everything else and they're so massive and so well detailed like i've seen the bane and the lobo um and and i'm just like damn do i need these like they're, they're so cool. aries is a, is a cool one because I think you could definitely implement this into your regular comic line mm -hmm. because Ares is kind of always, I, I feel has looked different throughout the years, a lot of different ways. So having an injustice version isn't necessarily too far from anything else. So I can see where you could. Yeah. Now has, has, has storm only done villains for DC or with Lobo close to kind of questionable? Um, I believe so. I, I'm trying to think here because they've done, they did Doomsday, the Dark Side, they did Bane, Lobo, now Ares. Yeah, I don't think they've done any of the heroes. It's interesting. Yet. Yeah. Yeah, all their releases, I'm pretty sure, have been like big motherfuckers, like none of the small ones. Yeah. And I'm curious if that might have any, something to do with maybe McFarlane. Because McFarlane has started like showing off they're going to be doing Injustice figures. Yeah. So I wonder if maybe there's something with DC where they're like, like they used to be with their TV shows and movies. They're like, you can't do that because someone else is doing that kind of thing. Or they're like, listen, you can do these yeah, big it's... motherfuckers because McFarlane can't. But yeah. we don't want you doing Batman and Superman and, and the, the gang quite yet. Yeah, I was trying to think because like with the Mortal Kombat that Storm Collectibles does, are those classic or are those 
more modern games. Uh, for the most part, those are classic, uh, which is okay. Which I think I know because McFarland with this. only does yeah only the new games. So mm-hmm. it's weird because it's it seems like especially with import companies, some of the license situations don't seem to apply mm-hmm. because you've got you know you have Mafex and SH Figure Arts making Marvel figures mm-hmm. and Hasbro, you know, and then Star Wars. You have SH Figure Arts. Um, I don't know that Mafex does Star Wars. I can't remember. There's another company that does import Star Wars and stuff yeah. like that. So the licensing well, no, does get weird. I think there's a, a Medicom Mafex uh, Mandalorian. I might be. So, you might be right. So they do some Star Wars. I don't think they do a whole lot. Yeah. But I think they at least like dabble in a little bit. Yeah. So the import companies, it seems kind of weird, but it does seem to be with Storm Collectibles. Um, they're doing different stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I am wondering... Maybe maybe it's just case by case because you have to think Hasbro would look at it because they're not going to be run out of out of business by Storm Collectibles no. or, or SH Figure Arts because their their line is affordable. It's got its loyal base. It's not like they don't have to go and push the have Spider Man in every line, even though they kind of do it a lot um, to sell the figures. It's more so just there. Um, where McFarlane, I feel like he's he's a little more insecure about it because it's a new line that he mm. wouldn't want the competition because his his are still like twenty dollar figures, but they're he 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 holds his to a higher standard like detail wise yep. than Marvel Legends do do. Because Marvel yep. Legends are like that that like perfect just cusp between like toy and like collectible where they're detailed and yeah. look great enough that they go up into collectible, but they're still kind of down there far enough that they're they're still a toy they're still an action figure they're there for you yeah they're definitely more durable yeah if you if a kid is going to get a hold of it fine your kid gets a hold of your new NECA figure uh, yeah it is it's that's pretty much the difference is like marvel like is in that gray area compared to like NECA would be up here and then like the old mattel dc figures would be down here (laughs) right right Uh, so poor Mattel. Yeah, that's a that's a interesting thing. Now, yeah, they've only done the the big villains. They haven't done any of the even like small villains. So yeah, yeah, and they and they tease that they're gonna do Lobo's like bikes. So yeah, I wonder if that is just because McFarlane is doing the line and Storm Collectibles is pretty quick about getting things out. So maybe it's like a time yeah. thing because McFarlane just announced Flash and and Grodd. So I guarantee you this year we'll see more villains and more heroes from that line. Probably by the end of the year, we'll have the entire roster and start going into like variants. Um, so maybe it's going to be a thing like in a year or two, Storm can do it, but they don't want them running side by side since Storm isn't like some companies that like here it is, and a year later you get it. They're like here it is, and four months later you can right. actually get it. So that's going to be uh, that's that's going to be interesting to kind of keep an eye on now because I, I didn't even think about that. And we are going We're open to... in minds. Yeah, man, just uh, we are we are going to round out the news with me and Nate gushing for probably the next 45 minutes um, over two toys. And that is because Tamashi Nations not only released full images of the new SH Figure Arts SS Goku figure that w- will be released retail instead of like a premium Bandai in June of 2021. So just a few months from now. But they also put up pre-orders for the Dragon Ball Super hit figure on premium bandai for sixty dollars shipping in july of 2021 and oh man like we just saw both of these figures at the tamashi nations event two months ago and we were excited then and now to see this like i'm i I love hit but this super saiyan goku i'm all for like the last couple super saiyan gokus were pretty iffy in my opinion and this one looks great yeah i mean honestly the the crazy thing about it is we've really only had really the two mm-hmm. for like just actual true blonde super say yeah we have the original 1.0 which is extremely hard not not only is it extremely hard to get now but it's more based on the manga colors anyway yeah. it's like an artsy and, feel versus the cartoon feel yep and then you've got the awakening one which nobody wanted for the longest time it was it was stacking up oh, places yeah. and now it's a super hot figure because people want that head sculpt so they can do other you know put it on other bodies especially mm-hmm. on that like say and raised on earth one so they can people can make their own um this was a great time to release it the head sculpts are awesome the one with the big eyes the oh the yeah really the, the, the relaxed eyes. like oh like people people have made fun of that one but i that's straight off the screen yeah that that's, like, there are certain that's episodes Cell Saga. that's how it looks yeah yeah uh, yeah especially and i think it looks incredible 
Uh, Hit looks good, but yeah, you're right. This this is the one where it's at. Uh, I can't wait to get it. It's nice to update Super Saiyan. I, I'll probably end up getting, and I don't normally get a lot, like, of, I don't army, well, you don't army build Dragon Ball, but I know people who buy a lot of the same ones to make a lot of different versions. Yeah. I could see myself getting, you know, two of these just because they, they can fill in different, you know, niches so in the collection. So you could have, like, him fighting different people throughout your, mm-hmm. your shelf. That yep. makes sense. Um, yep. Lucky for me, since I left the figure arts game and came back, I don't have a lot of the villains to need to fill in that space. Um, like I, I look at, I, I want a cell figure, but I look at the two they did and I'm like, that's not quite like cartoon cell. Like they both right. still look very much like the manga. So I'm hoping that we get a third release of him where he's more of that, like cartoon colored, like they're doing with everyone else. And then I'd probably, yeah, I'd probably need a second Goku. Um, or ideally I'd just go back and get the, the battle damaged Gohan. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm excited. Like nothing else for the head. Like the body, I've got so many freaking Gokus. I don't need another body. Yeah, but, but it's to, nice to see that one. Yeah. Another. 2. It's 0 nice to body. see it without the the kanji thing on yep. the shirt. So if you don't want him to be from a specific saga, you have it. Um, yep. Realistically, mine will probably get swapped back and forth onto the uh, one of the two Ultra Instinct bodies, where either he's got his shirt ripped off or he's got the orange shirt ripped off, and it's just like the torn up blue one. Um, just because I'm sorry, that that's that's Dragon Ball Z to me. Is they they aren't all like nice and neat and like standing there waiting around. They, right. they look like they got the shit beat out of them while they're fighting. Like, well, some characters just so, stand yeah around. Uh, yeah like but, yeah. yeah Yamcha Goku's and Krillin. Nice. Well, there's ways to delay Goku, but yeah, um, I know what you mean. Yeah, usually Goku for the most part is in the action. He's he's beat up. He's not like even if you go like to Dragon Ball Super with the Tournament of Power where it was like a, a eight hour long 30 minute tournament um goku like progressively little by little is starting to look more beat up he's not just like great 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 and then just his clothes are ripped to shreds uh so i I just i don't know that's like i i still desperately want a battle damage vegeta um i could get yeah it's definitely needed be happy Uh, i i want a battle damage piccolo um that i think uh a Frieza saga battle damaged Vegeta, especially with the mm-hmm. the damage yeah, to the, the chest. Yeah. Oh, that would be incredible. I, I, I'd love should get. I'd love a release of Majin Vegeta with that, with the battle damage from yeah. fighting Boo. Because by the time he's Majin, yep. he's not like all nice and neat like the figure they released. Nope. He's he's definitely like pretty roughed up. So yeah, I, they I, really should do more of those, and that would be an easy. Not only like you know because you're using the same tooling, but mm-hmm. you know getting those characters back out there that. And that would honestly, that's what I'd like to see more of on Premium Bandai. It's not so much individual the characters, characters it, but yeah, it's just some of these variants that people don't necessarily feel that they have to get. I, I, I've been kind of like pro Premium Bandai until it started to actually. I started to get them, and I'm like, I got my first shipment, great, and then my second shipment is at the bottom of the ocean, <laughs> and I don't know when I'm going to get it, and my yeah. third shipment, you know, who knows? So. Yeah, that kind of puts a sour on it. Yeah, a sour note to it. I mean, in their defense, they they didn't intentionally send Gohan to Atlantis. Um, no, that was didn't. kind of more of so just a, a happenstance. That was, yeah, but um, yeah, it's 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 so weird that like really they had a couple like really good releases and then it just was like boom. Hey, yeah. by the way, guys, this is delayed because uh, the the ship tipped over. Um, yeah, but. I, that's the good thing about Goku. He's not going to be premium Bandai, so there'll be enough of him that even if his ship tips over, he'll yeah. be on a different shipment somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I'm excited. But yeah, I can't wait. Hit is uh, as, as excited as I am for Hit. The the best part is I finally get to get rid of my uh, Dragon Stars. So I had a Dragon Stars Hit and a Dragon Stars uh, First Form Frieza. So those are now officially gone. So I think those, I'm completely those done. Those are in the pile to take to trade into the exchange. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, Hit looks great. I, I'm curious. I have to assume, based on the pictures, that his, like, dress trench coat thing comes off and has a swappable one for the pockets. Because, I would assume because so, looking at like it, how they do the, the arms folded. Yeah, because when you look at it, it's clearly got, like, raised up parts where you stick his hands in versus when yep. he's f- in the fighting poses they have him in, it's flat. 
So I have to assume it's either going to be just yeah. the front panels come off and swap out, or it's the entire thing comes off, or something, because it that's some witchcraft if it isn't. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, he, yeah he looks but these cool. are great. I, I love seeing the line continue. Mm-hmm. I, I'm I'm just curious because since it's been two months and we're now they're just boom starting the year off with those two. How long it'll be before we see that Cell Saga Vegeta and the re-releases mm-hmm. of like Cell Saga Tien and, and Yamcha and stuff start getting announced. And yep. especially with these coming out in the summer. So that means that those will probably be maybe like fall or winter, or maybe possibly next like beginning of next year. So I'm super excited for that. Ironically, I I forgot that I pre-ordered the Super Saiyan Blue Vegito that they just released. And, oh, yeah. Um, I, I pre-ordered it from Big Bad Toy Store, not from Bandai. And it's it, it said it was out for delivery today, and then FedEx was like, hey, you can go fuck yourself. Um, right. So I was, I was about to be like, hey, I, last minute I got one more purchase. But no, it, 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 unfortunately it didn't go out that way. Um but yeah, I can't wait to see what other stuff they do. Uh, but that that's that's it for the news. Uh, I, I know it seems like not much since it's been three weeks that since we were on, but I'm not going to go over everything that's happened in three weeks because realistically right. at this point, if you don't know it, I can't imagine you're watching our show for a reason. Um, <laughs> however, there is one more thing we have to do, and that is the first Turtle Watch 2020, well, 2021. Uh-oh. Man, I was not prepared for that. Turtle Watch 21. Yep. Um, and, oh, man, I, I I don't know. Do I need to edit the graphic? I can't remember if I put a year on it now. I better check that Uh-oh. before I edit the show. Um, yep. <laughs> uh, so on, on Christmas Eve of all days, we got a checklist from the 12 Days of Downloads that revealed multiple new figures from the Toon line, uh, such as official looks at the Turtles in Disguise 4-pack, the frogs, the ace duck, and even a massive chrome dome. Yes. But then it kind of just exploded even more the week after because the floosh team interviewed Trevor Zamet from NECA and boy, oh boy, strap in because they, they talked about a lot that we're getting this year. Yes, they did. And my wallet and my heart can't take it. Um, so we got confirmation that the heads for the disguise four pack are swappable um, face parts wise. They come apart just like the quarter scale ones that are coming out. Um, so that's awesome. And they also talked about the fact that these will be loaded because they wanted to do individual like $30 turtle figures that are ultimates like Krang and stuff where they come with so many accessories, but they decide just to do a four pack and get them out of the way. So you're going to get a shit ton of accessories plus the trench coats and the mastheads, and the new face sculpts, and the weird pants that they kind of wore sometimes, but not a lot. Uh, so th- that's going to be just, oh man, I- I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna have a heart attack when I bring that home. Um, but that, the, and I'm assuming that's going to be about 120 bucks. It's 125 gonna... is the price that it okay. at Target. Um, it started off okay. at 100, but then the updated price was 125. Um, but but that's still not even it. We're gonna get a- another set of loot crates with the same three themes and an additional figure if you order the the whole set we are going to get two waves and this one oh man oh man i had to replace my chair because sploosh we are getting two waves of mirage figures i have been waiting so many years for this and the only- and they're going to be direct market figures. Yeah. So anywhere that the Turtles in Time figures were, this is going to replace those. Exactly. So I, I don't yeah. have to – There's I just pre-order for Big Bad Toy Store because my comic yes. book shop sucks, and I'm done. Yep. Um, Said it and forget it. And, oh man, and we're getting one more wave of the arcade figures. We're going to get um, – the frogs are actually going to be split up into two two-packs, and they're going to be kind of staggered. So you're going to get the frogs, and then I think it was Vernon and uh, Rat King, and then the other frogs. So that way you don't accidentally buy the same two-pack twice, um, which I feel like they don't know their fan base if they think their fan base is going to accidentally buy the same one twice. <laughs> yeah, the scalpers might. I don't um, know. Yeah, but that, that they're going to buy 16 of them either way. Yeah. Um, uh, what else? Are we, I lost my place. Uh, oh, Muckman and Mondo Getgo are being split up because cost reasons. Muckman is essentially going to be an ultimate release, and Mondo yep. Getgo is 
kind of in this gray area. They didn't really say if he's going to be just paired with someone else or if he's going to be his own release um, because they wanted to make sure he's still stacked and has his little tech deck um, skateboard. Uh, We are going to be getting Secret of the Ooze figures from the movies. We are going to have... Uh, that they they've actually finished a sculpt and are just pretty much waiting to start making prototypes of the Toon Turtle van, and they're figuring yes. out the logistics of a sewer dio in both like the Turtle van. First off, let's go back to that for a second. They said that it's going to basically be mix and match. It's going to have attachments so you can have it however you want because of how like all over the place it was in the show, and the the yep. the sewer dio. They basically talked about how it's going to fit underneath the city one that they're releasing, and it's going to come out a little bit as the road, and there'll be a manhole cover that you can actually, like, go down into the sewer, and it's going to basically be its own, like, standalone piece of furniture at this point. Yeah, I'm going to figure... have to build a shelf for it. Right? It. <laughs> its own furniture. I, I mean, I'm just, I, I, at one point, for my wrestling figures, I had just straight up a fold-out table with the ring, the background of the crowd, the guardrails. So that's just going to basically turn into that. Um, yep. The Turtle City Street and Sewer uh, display. But they're just, at this point, just trying to figure out how to lay it out because it's it's not, like, flat. It's not it's not two-dimensional. It's, it's very much in inside yeah. so to figure out how to get the rooms get like the training room the living room the kitchen what to leave out what to, to move to still stay accurate but at least get it in there they even talked about like they'd love to put donnie's lab in it but they feel like with all the stuff in that that could just be its own place set so you could even get to right. the point where they could go modular with it and sell these as, as separate yep. like play sets like the good old days and you could just keep adding to your giant fucking turtle display <laughs> Why no one has really thought about modular play sets in that way to just keep adding on, even if you don't get all of them, just make them all like universally connected. That way people can pick and choose like that's because I've seen some generic ones or third party ones mm-hmm. that aren't licensed, uh, especially like in the 118th scale. But I would love to see something like that go through. But all of these announcements are incredible. Yeah, because you literally you just make each edge have a little bit of like a brick build up to hide the seams mm-hmm. and then it just pegs pop in and you can just lock yep. and replace what you want. You can make it your own. Like that would be yep. incredible. And, and, and the fact that the turtle ba- van basically already does that with all the parts and stuff. Oh man, I watched that video and my heart almost gave out from all the excitement. Like, yes. Uh, so. Yeah. That was an incredible watch. And listen, I, all of that was great. I, I, I feel like because there's not been a lot of other NECA announcements, um, as far as like movie properties and mm-hmm. such, you know, new horror stuff. And I'm, I'm okay with it because there's going to be so much turtle stuff that oh, I'm yeah. like, ah, good. I, I need, a, I need that break. Yeah, we're gonna have God, probably close to twenty four different turtle purchases by the end of the year because they, they basically announced enough that you could get at least two every month, if not more than that, and. I, I'm just I, I feel like my question though at this point because in the video when he shows off the turtles being able to like pop off the top of the head and swap the mm-hmm. bottom mouthpiece um, is originally it was assumed this is coming soon because Target already has price tags ready for it right but the one he showed was an unpainted prototype so I'm curious what it is which it is does he not have the the finished thing yet or because we're, we're getting it's Chinese New Year's is pretty much coming here in the next yeah. like couple weeks. So yep. if they don't get it out and then to that's targets what? now, that's like a month. Of yeah, nothing. is it a month? I didn't know if it was a month or two months. It's it's a long time. Really. I, I th- yeah, I think it's, a, it's a, I think it's a month. I don't know if it's two months. It might be like six weeks, but it's 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 pretty extensive that they shut everything yeah. down. Yeah, so, and like, it's everything. It, so it's not like if you don't get these out within the next couple of weeks, we're not going to see them until spring. Yeah, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm so I got so excited for these back when they leaked the the price tags for them. Seeing what they actually look like in the the yeah. checklist, and then seeing what they like the fact that they can swap the mouthpiece like it wasn't a deal breaker for me. Like I didn't care. I was just happy to get happy turtles. Like 
Right. I, I, like that's the that's the show to me. The the ones we got right. are literally from the intro. They're the the cool ones yeah. that are like looking up at the sky as they fly through it. Like they're not the ones that are actually in the show. Um, right. So to get that, I was excited. I didn't care if oh two of them are stuck with a mouth open and two of them are stuck with a mouth closed. Like that dead didn't make a difference to me. But the fact that I could swap them kind of how the vintage ones were anyway one had one teeth set of which so yeah two had both <laughs> teeth showing who you know yeah it was it was it was pretty much like you didn't have those swappable options so like that was just added excitement yeah that was and, great and the thought that we're gonna get a shit ton of accessories like i'm just curious to see what new stuff they're gonna have for that pants <laughs> I mean, pants. I mean, you're not wrong, um, and that's going to make yeah. for a lot of fun poses and pictures of them mooning random people on the street. Once I get the the dio, because um, <laughs> we're mature people, exactly. Um, but yeah, uh, it's going to be a, a wild year, and uh, I really hope that the four pack is at least like on a boat headed to Target warehouses. That'd be because nice. I really don't want to wait till spring for it at this point. I'm yeah. like, too excited. <laughs> Yeah, I get you. Like these are, I, I, yeah, I didn't think they could improve on last year. I, I, I love what they're doing as far as distribution. Um, you know, I'm seeing more, not mm-hmm. too much, which is good. It's a, it's a fine balance. Um, so I, I hope it continues. I hope um, that it continues to be relatively easier to get as we go forward. Oh, a hundred percent. We've even seen restocks. Mm-hmm. Like, I never mm-hmm. thought I'd see the day, like, obviously we got them with, like, select ones like Rockstay and Bebop because they were so popular. But Splinter and Baxter Stockman, I saw, I, I went, my target got 16 of them initially. And then, or no, it was 18, not 16 because they come back to six. Um, and then they had six more today when I went. And they even got more Krangs. So the fact that they're yeah. restocking and still standing out more than just the normal two per store shows that, it's improvement. They, they, they recognize yep. they don't need the third party market to make their, their product sell that people actually want to buy it. So just mm-hmm. let us buy it. And it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. Yep. I'm loving it. Yeah. So it's going to be a long year. So everyone strap in, but that that's mm-hmm. it for the news and for turtle watch. So it's, it's time for, I'm glad I got to be here though, for the first right? turtle watch of 2021 i wore my shirt not only well one because of because of the giveaway but oh, two yeah. you know in you know because we were talking about turtles so i had to dress appropriately and, and, and so everyone knows he didn't know that because i didn't send him the show sheet until we got on no it. so no. that was this instinct right there like mm-hmm. man are we sure that jamar has to come back because i don't think he's that <laughs> in, intuitive about the show um <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's time for weekly purchases. And as always, when you're on the show, I'm just gonna go first, just because you're gonna you're gonna annihilate me. So <laughs> let's let's. Uh... This week, yes. Like normally, like there is gonna be a time where I'm gonna be on the show and I'm gonna be like, um, I got this one thing. Like that does happen. I I, I swear don't believe to God, it because literally it every time you've happen. been on the show, you were like, here's at least between five and twenty five things you broke. I yeah. I literally went on a rampage where I bought a bunch of dragon ball z figures and you still broke the record with just one of your normal (laughs) hauls so i i I have a hard time believing you but we'll we'll have to wait and see what 2021 holds Um, so in my target ventures as many people who hopefully regularly watch the show know i gave up wrestling figures i had a couple that i kept but for the most part i got rid of them the community got too toxic it got too obsessed with value collecting and it kind of just ruined it for me but I was at Target and I saw something and it tugged at my heartstrings and then I saw something else and I was like, well, I kind of want that too because it's cool. Um, so we'll start with the something else. They, the new series of Ultimate Figures hit Targets this past week. So I got the Ultimate Edition of The Fiend, who, if you aren't familiar with wrestling, it's a basically just like if you had a creepier version of the Insane Clown Posse with a very large man beating people up in the dark. Um, that is the fiend and he has a counterpoint. He looks very cool. I, I know a little bit about him mm-hmm. just cause I think he looks neat, but yeah, yeah. He, he's, he's super awesome. That figure is incredible. His arms actually come off and you take the jacket off and he has his normal like arms that have the tattoos and everything. Um, I, I hope that I, like, I really like his alternate like identity. He has this version of himself cause his name's just Bray Wyatt and he's essentially Mr. Rogers. Um, I call him hello neighbor Bray because 
he has this Firefly Funhouse with these puppets that look like he dug them out of the trash at uh, Goodwill. And he just, like, is this... It's it's very, like, this innocence to it where he's just very, like, uh, uh, like going and bobbing his head and having a good time. But it's also very dark. Like, he, he like there's one puppet named Rambling Rabbit that, like, mouths off to him and he kills this rabbit on a regular basis. Um, like, there's been times where he's ripped his head off, he's beating him to death with a mallet. Like, a lot of things have happened to this poor rabbit. Um, so like, so he, he performs both those characters. Yes. He's supposed he to be is, like two different personalities. Yeah, like, he, yeah, it's essentially, yeah. It, it's, it's a really cool gimmick that he's at going where like the fiend is like this, this entity that comes out and, and basically attacks the people who have, who've wronged Bray Wyatt and Bray Wyatt's just like, you don't want to anger him. He's not nice. And like, he just acts like they're two separate people, but they are very much the same person. That's cool. Um, so it's fantastic. The one that tugged at my heartstrings. So when when I was when, when we little one, I and I first started watching wrestling. My it was basically I was at my babysitter's house and, and that's where I'd watch it. And my first wrestling figure ever was a birthday present from them, and it was Hollywood Hulk Hogan, and like that because he was my guy. Like I I didn't care. Like I wasn't around for like. Red and yellow, eat your vitamins, Hulk Hogan. I, I was around for cool, like, black and white. I'm I'm the bad guy, but you still like me, Hulk Hogan. Like, air guitar with the with the belt. And that's the other Ultimate Edition figure is NWO Hollywood Hulk Hogan. And he even came with the belt. So I was like, I, I can't not get that. Like, that's that's straight yep. up. Like, if, if, if three- or four-year-old me saw this figure today he, he would just lose his shit and i i had to have that um and, and even like his shirt they made it velcro so you can do him ripping the shirt off which was really cool um my last purchase is more of a gift i actually talked about it on the the top 10 of 2020 special uh my buddy ordered it from amazon amazon proceeded to, to deliver either deliver it to the wrong place or market it is delivered but not deliver it but eventually it found its way after I filed a, a give me my shit form on their website, and that is the uh, Gundam Fighters, God Gundam, Ooh. and yeah. they did a fantastic job with this. I can't wait to get more from this series, primarily just because I actually I, the other day I, I tried to record like several reviews in advance so I can start pumping them out easier, and this was one of them. And I compare him to the Gundam wing figures and he's a little bit taller and his head and just proportions are bigger. So he, he doesn't blend in well with the Gundam wing figures. So I'm like, I need more of fighters to, to put up against him on the shelf. Yeah. So they Bandai needs to get on that. They've, they can give us a bunch of DBZ figures and the figure arts line. Now give me my Gundam universe figures. <laughs> yeah, that it looks awesome. I, um, I haven't picked it up yet, but I found a Walgreens that had the, original the r78 i think it's called mm-hmm. uh from that line i think i'm gonna pick that one up because i always like that one yeah that one's pretty cool i think i've seen it a couple times i'm just like no no i'm just gonna i'm gonna stick to wing and now fighters just because they decide to throw that in my face um, yeah at one of these days i'm gonna go on amazon because i i could wait for target to get them or i could just have amazon ship it to me now um yeah because they've got the the tall geese and i need that for my to, to fight my my wing gundam Yep, absolutely you do. There's no, there's no, there's no turning back on that one. Yeah, that's that's, that's a must. So, all right, yep. let's, I, let's I, see you and I. I like Wing a lot too. <laughs> um, okay, so let me start out. Um, so I, I was on, I'm on vacation this week from work. My wife and I both are on vacation. Her birthday was at the end of last week, so we took some time off. And this week's been kind of fun because we went, we were out of town over the weekend, but then at the beginning of the week we were back, and we were kind of hitting up some places. Um, so. I think it was Tuesday we went out. I wanted to go out and look at all the new stuff. Um, she found a lot of the Super – some of the new Super Nintendo Mario stuff mm-hmm. um, and then some of the Mario Kart and the Jax uh, Mario stuff. There's a theme there um, for her. But I also found that first day I was at a Target and I found the uh, Battle Armor He-Man and Battle Armor Skeletor from the Origins line. So – um, what I liked about these is they, they came with alternate heads. So these were more expensive. These were 20 bucks as opposed to the 12 at Walmart, which is now being like 15 at mm-hmm. Target. Um, but 
what I liked about them is they came with alternate heads. So the He-Man actually includes the classic oh, okay. vintage style, the um, uh, Origins one. And the funny thing was about the or- Origins one, I picked this one because it had the best paint uh, apps on the vintage face. But the other one, one he's got an open mouth and they missed the paint line it looks like he's just got cum all over his chin with his <laughs> uh, great it's it's not it's not so i went with the vintage one this one i, I should have brought it downstairs and yeah I how did you not bring cum face? now i feel like i should have but i'll 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 send you a picture and you can edit it in um so actually i do do have a picture of it somewhere but uh i don't love the battle armor he there's something off about the proportions yeah um he, he looks like know, he just he, looks funky he's in like an but, iron lung and he grew arms yeah but the the skeletor looks great yeah it's exactly the way he should be um so i don't know but i like that they gave him a shield the other one the old one didn't have a shield i'm old enough to have the original and these ones um and i also found panthor oh, so on um i had gotten battle cat but i hadn't opened them yet so i didn't know how the articulation was and it's cool but there's no articulation at the pause. Oh, yeah. That and kind that's of where I think purpose. it would need it the most. Yeah. Yeah. It, like, it doesn't really do that much just to have the legs and the knees if you can't mess with the pause because he can't get in a really cool stance. He mostly can just get in the stance that he stands up on. So, I mean, it's fine. Oh, wait. I did bring the head. Oh, you've got cum face. <laughs> I do. You really might have to zoom in on the chin part, but. Oh, yeah. I can... He's got a little bit of dribble there. Yeah, and just look at the like the look. He's like, I didn't suck any dicks. <laughs> I think I found, I found the, the new opening for the trailer for the the homepage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't suck any dicks. And then this is the alternate Skeletor one. It's fine, I guess, but I put the vintage style one on him because yeah. it looks better. So, um, so yeah, there's there's going to be a little bit of a theme here what? this week. Yeah. Um, so then, like the next day, we went out. I didn't find anything. Um, she found some more stuff, but I did get this in from Big Bad Toy Store. It was Ooh. a big box from Big Bad Toy Store. This was the only thing from me or for me, which was nice. Why well, haven't I been charged for mine yet? I don't know. Hmm. Look into that. I'm gonna have um, to. Yeah. Um, so I and I posted this on my Instagram. If anybody wants to follow me, Nate Bryant at no at Nate Bryant 1985 on Instagram. I posted the entire line. Uh, carded because I am going to open these very soon. But I waited a full six, seven months to get them to all. get them all, and then you know whatever. Wait, did they confirm um, that they're done? They're not doing more. Well, they didn't confirm it, but since Firestar has been shown to be in the regular Marvel Legends box, mm-hmm. I- I'm just assuming it's it, they're done for now. They may not be. It may not be completely done, and they might do something like they've done for X Men. You know, like a year or two later. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to wait that long. Yeah, because I have to assume yeah. they got to do like Venom and some of the other characters. I, and and you know what? They're they're honestly on uh, one of the guys for, that do the Marvel Legends live streams. Somebody pointed out that there looked like there was like a prototype Venom one, but we'll see. Yeah. But I'm gonna open them now. But I did the aforementioned Firefly. It's fantastic. Um, what I love is he comes with a ton of accessories. He's got dynamite. He's got a gun. He's got this drone. But all of it fits onto his backpack oh so his gun can actually fit on the the, there's like a post on the gun and it fits on the backpack he's got this little tablet for controlling his drone that fits into his uh right into the backpack the drone comes off and it folds out so it's this really cool little little drone thing and then the dynamite fits onto the bottom of the backpack so Damn. every piece of his gear could fit on here, with the exception of the goggles, but they fit on his head. So yeah, you don't um, really need and, them to. Yeah, and he's got this awesome like like armor flak armor thing going on. Um, I I think he's great. I I'm I like Firefly. He's never been a huge favorite of mine. Um, some people are complaining that his face is too crazy. I like that. I like that the idea that he's kind of nuts, uh, being a saboteur. Um, I actually really liked the. Um, is it Ray? Not Ray Winstone. Ray, uh, the guy that played Punisher in Warzone. Uh, what was his I name? I don't remember. He was uh, Firefly in 
retaliation, G.I. Joe retaliation. And I always really liked that. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought he was cool in that. But some people didn't like that. I'm not going to mess with that now. But it it's so hard to find this figure. I I, I would say get it, but it, it, you can't. Yeah, you can't. It's an, it's an issue, not but it's another a shit ton of money on eBay. Right. Um, it's another, you know, slam dunk though, for the classified team. I just, I wish they could really get this fixed. And, and cause I, I can count on one hand, literally how many times I've seen classified in the store, mm -hmm. not just exclusives. I mean, just the regular ones. Yeah. So it's been a smash for them, but you know, but alas, I, I'll shut up. Um, and then the next day, we went out like every day this week, just oh, a few damn. places. But then the next day we went out, she found some more Legos. Uh, and then I found the newest wave of Origins. I haven't opened these yet. So I got Merman, Zodak, Roboto, and then the one that I was really looking for, She-Ra. Oh, damn. So, yeah. So I was very excited to find those. And then and one more before it'd be a live unboxing. Ooh. Oh. I just got this in the mail. I just got this in the mail. It's from Walmart, but not from Walmart. It's oh, so it was like NECA. their third party. Oh wait, no. no. Well it's NECA. Oh, so I know yeah. it's mine just shipped the other day. I'm, I, I doesn't come until Tuesday. Though. I don't know that this is. Oh. Well, I don't know. Maybe this is yours. I don't know if you buy these or not. Oh, maybe not then. Yeah. Ooh, oh, it comes in a fancy box. Another box. Wow, it's like Christmas. Yeah, it's very well protected so far. Okay. Let's see here. All right. So these are the uh, Alien okay. 40th anniversary. So here's the Ash. So yeah, these are Walmart exclusives, but I bought them through the website, but they were shipped by NECA. Now, mm -hmm. a buddy of mine, he bought them through NECA. For whatever reason, NECA put them up on their site. Um, they paid shipping. Even though mine got sent from NECA as well, I didn't have to pay for shipping because they oh. were through Walmart. So this is the alien. I don't know. No. Oh, this is the slimy one, I think. I don't even know what the, the Xeno difference is on this one. I didn't. I just grabbed the three because I wanted these two because I didn't trust Walmart to ever get them in store. That's that's reasonable. Yeah. And then this is the cane with an actual John Hurt likeness, which is Damn. awesome. I have the cane, the older cane figure that came out. Oh, my God. Probably five or six years ago, but they didn't have the likeness rights to him so it was just with the face hugger on mm -hmm. so um so yeah i'm excited about those and then uh it was yesterday so i i sent you the picture i don't know if you're gonna put it up or or how that's gonna work but um i've been collecting masters of the universe classics mm -hmm. after the fact and uh one of the local toy stores uh in my area in fact jamar mentioned it last week uh or last time we were on the show together um, classic plastics, but he had gotten a massive uh, Masters of the Universe classics collection about a month ago, and I had known it was coming because they knew I was a, a Masters fan. And so the one guy told me they're like, "Hey, it's coming. Uh, we're pricing it. You know, just you know, be aware." So at that point, I kind of did a mad rush to sell some things. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I told my PS5 story, but I had ended up with a PS5 that I bought from another store on on store credit but then i went ahead and sold it because i didn't really want it i sold it for retail to a friend but i got it in cash instead of store so credit, credit yeah. so then i was able to use that towards that so um i had gone over there and bought a whole bunch this was probably a month ago um and i tried to get you know i tried to maximize the money that i had i got a lot of the um lesser priced ones and in, in, in here and there and then i've been going like every week or so and getting another one or getting two but they're starting they were starting to get really just up to the pricey ones mm -hmm. and then we were out and you know we had my we had gotten the stimulus and whatnot and my wife was like you know what she's like you should just get the ones you don't have and let's just Call stop going in every week mm -hmm. and i was like uh it's gonna be like a lot she's like just do it i'm like 
okay. Yeah, not going to say no to that. <laughs> again, the one time she was like, don't buy Fortnite. I was like, okay. This, yeah. And so then you get caught. And then she tells me to buy all the Masters of the Universe that I don't have. Can't um, argue that logic. You know, right. So, uh, but it was her idea to get it, you know. So I ended up with really the rest of what I needed mm-hmm. uh, that he had. And um, I've been kind of updating the checklist. And I still need like 50 figures for Masters of the Universe classics. So, yeah, because I was running through and actually looking at the release schedule. Um, because they, at, during its heyday, they, they and Maddie Collector, sometimes they would release three to four figures a month over the yeah. course of several years. So, because I mean, that line ran for like 12 years, I think, all said and done. Mm-hmm. Um, at least a solid uh, six to eight with Mattel and then, and then the rest with Super 7. But um, yeah, there's still a lot I don't have, but I, I was able to, uh, you know, kind of get some of the pricier ones like beast man and trap jaw uh triclops uh she-ra but there's still there's still a lot out there that you know i didn't get and there was actually a lot that he got in that i missed out on um you know just from when i would go in and grab some and stuff like that there'd be ones missing and i was like i'd be like you know damn i missed that one and Mm -hmm. you know but yeah so that was a massive massive haul this week i was able to then spread them out all over the table and and all the accessories, I have all the accessories. They just mm-hmm. weren't necessarily in the picture. Yeah. But they were, as, as much as I can tell, everything I've gotten from him has been complete. And not only that, um, sometimes what they would do in the line is they would release like a special accessory that was actually for another figure that mm-hmm. had already come out. Um, you know, he included those for whatever character they were meant for, oh, not okay. necessarily what which ones they came with. Which that makes sense. Uh, if, if it was loose, applicable. There's no sense to. Right, right. Yeah. To be like, oh, yeah, you don't suck need... you to buy this figure that you don't want to get the piece that you want for this one. Yeah, because there was the the new adventure Skeletor figure came with a battle damaged Faker head. Mm-hmm. Well, you don't really need that for that Skeletor figure. It needs to go with the Faker, and that's yeah. what he did. So makes sense. But yeah, so that was a that was a big haul this week, and <sighs> I I feel like I I need to. You need to just be, be done. You need to just be to done. Just put it back on cruise control for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the next time you know I'm on the show, I'll be like, "Oh, I got you know this at the Dollar Tree." Uh, so I, 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 so while you were going through all that, I looked at your picture again because I, yeah, I, I didn't re- like in my head. I guess I assumed that you were just gonna be like, "And this is this one, and this is this one," and do that for like 20 Ooh. minutes. Um, I didn't want to do that. So I looked at the picture and I counted and you annihilated the old record of weekly oh, purchase. Oh, okay. So the old record was what? I think we said it was like 18 was where you were out at. Yeah. Would you like to take a, a guess at what you just, the number of things you just uh, showed off in weekly I'm gonna purchase? Say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say 38. Close. 43. 43. So by Price is Right rules, I win. Yeah. Price is Unless right. somebody else. I mean, I mean, guess. no one else came in and said 34 or 39. So, right. Right. So no one was able to beat you. But yeah, you, 43 Yikes. new toy. Well, new for me. New to new you toys. Yeah. yeah. Which mm-hmm. I, I count that because my, my, the old record, the first record was set by me with a bunch of old Dragon Ball Z figure arts figures. So yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. I don't think anyone except for maybe you is going to be able to beat that one. <laughs> Yeah, well, let's hope not for a while. Let's, let's maybe sit this one out for a little bit, and because uh, I, I, you know, I'm such an idiot about it. Because some of them like have things with them that I can't, like I did, I don't know. It doesn't come mm-hmm. with instructions or anything like that. So like, I'm I'm so bizarre. I'll watch. I'll, I'll, I'll you know, I'll pick a figure to like mess with that night, and it's a little baggie of accessories, and I'll you know be playing there while we're, and then I'll watch the pixel dan review mm. from like 11 years ago so that you can he reviewed every figure <laughs> of that line so i can see all the different things that he talks about and the different you know and then all the things that i i didn't know i could do that with that accessory or whatever it is so makes sense yeah it's gonna take me forever to go through all these uh, and i'm okay with that. you're gonna be busy it's gonna, it's gonna keep you occupied for 2021 yep yep yeah yeah, because we I started talking. There's like oh, there's one room because we're we're doing waterproofing down here now, which is why everything's under construction. I think I mentioned that, but I kind of want to turn one room into kind of a, a Masters of the Universe room, and because it is like cinder block walls, I, I kind of want to paint it like in Castle Grayskull brick oh, colors. And that'd and, be cool. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking right now, and actually just kind of turn that room 
just solely into that between vintage classics 2000x new adventures uh origins i mean i do have a lot of masters of the universe so i mean what was it the you you showed me that giant castle that's from is that from yeah snake yeah. mountain that's classic yeah yep um so like realistically if you paint the the walls that color then you just you have a hard time finding that in that room it'll be like uh yes where's waldo yes that's very true we blend right in <laughs> uh, i i hope that you do do that and I, I i want to see it because that would be fucking amazing yeah, we'll have to like once it gets all done, we'll have to do kind of like a walkthrough mm-hmm. type of thing and and show it off. So, yeah. but yeah, I gotta wait a while because <laughs> everything's under construction down here. Oh, I except mean... for this wall. This is the only thing because this is a a wall that runs through the middle of the, uh, of, okay. the of the downstairs where because it's the entire perimeter three feet from the wall that mm-hmm. gets taken out. Um, so like this is the only wall that's safe. And then my GI Joe wall on the on the other side of it is the only things that are like not being touched. But I'm loading all my NECA and my classics figures on those shelves with the GI Joe just because mm-hmm. I need a place to store them all until while this is going on. Yeah, it's understandable. I, yeah. I can just imagine while these people are in your basement, you just sitting on the stairs watching them, like praying that nothing falls or <laughs> gets knocked over. Yeah, I don't. I'm hoping that there's nothing that's gonna knock them down from up top shelves that i've got things on so they hit the ground and break so yeah we'll I, see. i'd maybe just go like get a bunch of blankets and pillows and put them along the bottom as like i a, thought about that a cushion yep. to to save them an airbag yep yeah yeah I, i'd be too paranoid I, I honestly i probably wouldn't even keep them on the shelves i would just been like everything's going in totes until they're done no, i have no a lot risks. of stuff in totes yeah <laughs> All my Marvel Legends are in totes. Yeah. I mean, luckily for Marvel Legends, at least, I feel like those will be the safest of them because those things take a beating. Yeah. They're, they're borderline a Nintendo yeah. console. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I mean, that's we just had another re- record-breaking uh, weekly purchases. I uh, was not expecting that. I mean, I, I guess in my head it didn't register how many figures were in that picture until I counted, and I was yeah. like, well, fuck. Um but before we close things out, as always, I am going to remind you of our giveaway. We are inching closer and closer. So the goal is 350 YouTube subscribers. Right now we're at, I think, 167 at the time of recording this episode. And once we hit the 350, we will be giving away a first place prize of the NECA Ultimate Metalhead. Yes, at this point, you may have already got one. Or, yes, at this point, you may have already paid someone on eBay. But, hey, you get another one. You can make it battle damage. I mean, at you this, this point... Fodder. Yeah, you can. It's going to be worth quite a bit of money by the by, by the time, time we, yeah, by the time we hit the yeah. thing, it's going to be worth so much money that you're going to want to be a part of this, and you'll be mad when you missed out. You're definitely going to be in on this. Um, so yeah, that's first place prize. Second place prize is the extra large NECA Musical Mutagen Tour merch box bundle, which Nate is repping the shirt you get in that, along mm-hmm. with a tote bag, souvenir ticket, backstage pass, and four guitar picks. All you have to do, real simple rules. Uh, you're, you've got to subscribe to the channel, because obviously that helps the end goal. And you have to share or retweet the contest post, well, the giveaway post, with the hashtag ModernToyFair100. So on Twitter, it's a lot easier. So if you have Twitter, even if you don't, it's free. Just make a quick login, and you're done. Look us up and hit retweet um, with that hashtag, because it's the pinned tweet. So literally, you don't have to dig through our page. The Instagram one, I try to post it here and there. However, it's uh, it, it sometimes get lost in the shovel because I post a lot more on there with the reviews and the figure photography and everything. So make sure to do one of those. Subscribe to the show. Real easy. Even It even explains it in the, the post for the contest, for the giveaway. Do not do a fleet or a story because those go away for 24 hours. And guess what? I can't I can't go find that after that. And I'm not going to screenshot every entry because um, mm-hmm. that would require, one, for me to look at the hashtag every day. And two, to have a bunch of screenshots saved on my phone and hope that I have the same phone by the time we reach this 350 subscribers. So go ahead, do that. Get some free cool shit, possibly. Help us here at the channel. 
Either way, I appreciate you. But that is it for this week's Modern Toy Fair news. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And Nate, how about you tell the fans about Figuratively Speaking? Um. <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> what? I can't tell if you're just like trying to say that the other people on Figure Speaking are cocksuckers. Is that what you're? Doing? No, they're never. No, no. Let me be clear. <laughs> they're they're great. They're they're both they're both friends of mine. Um, I mean, there's. I mean, they might be, and if they are, good for them. Um, they, if if they enjoy that such thing, I'm digging myself a hole. Here. <laughs> you really are know. like they are never. Where they really know where to Never go. gonna come back with you. Uh, <laughs> they're gonna be but... like Nate had some tweets come up, and we had to forever endeavor him. <laughs> Um, right now there is, there's, it, we're still planning on end of January, beginning of February. Uh, I like Mayfex look for us in May. <laughs> Let's just be honest. We're on the Mayfex schedule. Hey, uh, hey, at least it's not like you've promised 30 episodes and that's true. And, and, are and I still have to deliver all of them by. Yeah. Yeah. While see. still putting out. Yeah. See, so, I mean, there's at least ups and downs. Uh, yeah. But, but yeah, the figure speaking podcast, when it comes back, it's it's a blast. The conversations these guys have, this is the stories. I mean, you think the, the shit we talk about in here is outrageous with come face He-Man and his whole, like, I don't suck dick. Um, like, it, it, just take that and crank it up to 10 with the, some of the stories you'll hear on Figuratively Speaking. So go check that out. They're also on Facebook and Instagram. I don't know about Twitter. If they are on Twitter, I like, couldn't find them. Um, I, I don't think. I don't think Ian mostly runs all our socials on that. Like I said, I, if you if you want to follow me, it's just Nate Bryant, uh, nineteen eighty five. So Instagram, I don't think Twitter's that one, but Instagram's the only one that I'm active on now. So that's the only one that that you bother with. So I show a lot of toy pictures on there. I used to do way more toy photography, but oh my god, everybody's gotten so good, yourself included. I don't oh, do it anymore because it kind of, it, I just feel defeated. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 an endeavor. You, there, there's no. It really is. It's just it not really like uh. It's not like it used to be where it's just like snap snap. Like if you want to c- compete and be like in the top, and even then my my shit ain't like getting any love. I'm lucky if it gets like 30 likes compared to some of these people who are like mm. getting thousands of likes and stuff. Right. Um, but you have to like get lights and dioramas and yeah, spend like you 30 get minutes. Air cans yeah, like you, like I'll even, I'll even go that much where I get like the cool yeah. like dust effects and stuff. I'm like, I'll try to add that shit in Photoshop. Like I ain't got the yeah. effort or time to clean that up. Um, but yeah, uh, it's 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 a full time job in itself if you decide you want to try to take figure photography these days. Yep. Um, yeah. But uh, if you'd like to support the channel. You can go to tblog.com. There's a link in the description below, and it'll take you to my store. I have all sorts of different things for our logo. I'll have some new shirts with essentially some play on old like logos with Modern Toy Fair as the name instead. So kind of like how if you've been watching the show, Jamar has a Why Are You a Gamer, but it's the Ninja Turtles logo. So keep an eye out for those. They'll be coming soon. Along with just other random shit that I've made up in Photoshop with different things from Star Wars, Marvel, DC, uh, other movies. So go check that out. I appreciate you. It helps us out. helps uh, support the drug addict that is um, toy collecting. Uh, As always, please make sure to like and subscribe and comment below if there's something that you wish we would have talked about or if there's you have an opinion on something. Even if you just want to tell me I'm an asshole for thinking retail employees are in the right to save things for their friends. Um, Either way, it helps the algorithm. I think you're an asshole, but not for that. Yeah. I'm an asshole for much worse things, so if you think I'm an asshole yes. for that, I'm okay with it. Um, yeah, yeah, I've but, known you much longer. <laughs> but yeah, so like, if, if just let us know your thoughts below, even if you just want to talk about some of the things that we've talked about on the show. Hell, I'm sure if you start talking about the figure arts figures, Nate will actually open his YouTube app to start having a conversation about it, so you mm-hmm. never know. Um, and but, I might start opening some more of my figure arts figures that are <laughs> stacking up. Still don't know how you managed to not open those day one. I um, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a complicated individual. You, you are. You are very. I am very complicated we'll individual. To, we should spend a whole episode one time just dissecting my, we or both of our like different thought processes oh, yeah. around things because they don't make sense. They, they like, don't even my own. Like I, I, I set these rules and then I abolish all these rules and <laughs> it's. 
Maybe, maybe we'll it's, do it. That'll it, be the next special. Instead of it, will be yeah. we'll have Jamar moderate it, and he'll basically yeah. just like go through and dissect yep. which one of us is crazier and for what reasons over the course of like a five hour conversation. Um, I have a feeling we're both going to be guilty just for different reasons. Oh yeah, it's it's, it's going to be yeah. like you both need help. You both need to go yeah. seek out Jesus and uh, have. But it'll night. be fun to compare and contrast. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll I'll make sure to text Jamar right away because that that does yeah. sound like a fun time that <laughs> no one's going to enjoy but us. But yeah, <laughs> uh, you know what though, I, I I bet a lot of people would enjoy hearing, especially especially they'll go hey, or they'll play it for their wives and girlfriends <laughs> and go you know what. That's I'm not you. this. Yeah. <laughs> so you think my plastic thing is bad. At least I'm not this guy. Yeah, true. We, we could we could literally help thousands of people with their relationship problems yep. do the toys. Mm-hmm. So now we have to do this video. So I'll, I'll start yes. writing yes. up the show sheet as soon as possible. Okay. Um, All right. I'm in. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the little bell to get notifications. When videos go up, Modern Toy Fair news is on Fridays. Modern Toy Fair reviews currently is on Mondays, but I am working to maybe possibly do two a week instead. We'll see how that goes because it mostly just depends if I can afford to have two figures a week. Uh, we'll <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I'll start sending mine. <laughs> just ship them across the country. <laughs> I don't know. That's yeah. going to be almost as much as it would cost for me to buy my own. Um <laughs> but yeah, so watch Modern Toy Fair reviews on Mondays. If you don't enjoy our faces, good news, we have an audio only version of the Modern Toy Fair news on all the podcast apps you know and love, such as Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Pocket Cast, Spotify, and of course, pretty much every other podcast app that you may know and love. So check that out, and we will see you next week. Same toy time, same Toy Fair channel. Thank you for watching.